10 fast food items that are gone forever. 1. McDonald's McDLT. In an attempt to compete with Burger King's Whopper sandwich, McDonald's introduced the McDLT in the mid-1980s. The burger came in a two-slotted styrofoam container that kept the burger hot and the vegetables cold. However, rising concerns over the environmental impacts of styrofoam forced the restaurant to switch to paper wrappers, and the McDLT was discontinued in 1990. 2. Wendy's Superbar. During the 1980s, Wendy's offered more than its signature square-shaped burgers and fries. The dining room was home to the Superbar, a buffet featuring a salad bar as well as pasta and taco stations. For one price, customers could eat all they wanted and fill up on spaghetti, burritos, and pudding. Unfortunately, the item was not profitable, and the company eventually removed them. 3. McDonald's Arch Deluxe in the mid-1990s, McDonald's wanted to create menu items to appeal to more sophisticated tastes and introduced the Arch Deluxe. Topped with peppered bacon, lettuce, tomato, cheese, onions, ketchup, and a special sauce, this quarter-pound burger failed to garner fans. After dismal sales, the company pulled the item from the menu and returned to its traditional market. 4. Burger King's Chicken Fries like its primary competitor, Burger King tried reaching out to the adult market by introducing BK Chicken Fries in 2005. The thin strips of chicken came in a slender box that conveniently fit in a car's cup holder and carried its own pocket for dipping sauce. Fans launched an unsuccessful campaign to keep them, but it officially disappeared in 2012. 5. Long John Silver's Peg Legs When Long John Silver's first opened, the restaurants featured a pirate theme. One of the items on the children's menu was small fried chicken legs called peg legs. The company switched the drumsticks with boneless chicken patties called chicken planks. 6. McDonald's Fried Apple Pie McDonald's still has apple pie on the menu, but it is a far cry from the version it served from 1968 to 1992. The original fried version was a blend of crispy pie crust and apple filling so hot the box came with a warning label. To improve the nutritional value of its menu items, the company switched to baked pies. 7. Taco Bell's Bell Beefer In the 1970s, Taco Bell offered its own version of the Sloppy Joe. The Bell Beefer was essentially a pile of the chain's taco beef, lettuce, and onions served on a bun. After the item disappeared in the 1990s, hardcore fans brought their own buns to the restaurants and ordered the fixings to make it themselves. 8. Burger King's Burger Shots Burger King introduced its own version of mini burgers in the 1980s. Originally called Burger Bundles, they also went by the name Burger Buddies before the restaurant discontinued them. The company brought back the diminutive burgers as BK Burger Shots, tiny versions of its burgers topped with ketchup and pickle. Once again, Burger King removed the item from the menu after lackluster sales. 9. Taco Bell's BLT Soft Taco Taco Bell introduced the sizzling bacon menu in 1995, featuring the BLT soft taco. The concept was simple. They placed a few strips of bacon in a flour tortilla and topped it with shredded cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, and a ranch-style sauce. Although the restaurant pulled the menu a few years later, the bacon-laden delights reappeared in the Philippines. And 10. McDonald's McSalad Shakers before it found success with its premium salad line, McDonald's tried to woo health-conscious consumers with its McSalad shakers. The salad was served in a cup with a domed lid. And after dressing, customers could shake the cup until the dressing completely coated the greens. McDonald's thought it was an innovative idea, but customers did not agree. Mm -hmm.